Hi everyone. <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to do something that's a little extra and I'll, I might fail, I might not. Um, I want it to be a little hyper femme, if you will. I've been kind of stuck in a rut when it comes to makeup and I want to do something fun. And it's probably going to translate to a lot of eyeliner and colored eyebrows. So let's begin. Okay, you know what? I'm going to start where basically like the focus of the face can be and that's going to, for me, that's the eyebrows. So um, I have this about face fractal, fractal glitter eyebrow situation that I'm going to use to sort of bring my eyebrows up, stick them into place. And I'm, I think I'm really going to want to cake this on because I want the glitters to show. Or I can, you know what, I can use a shimmer to do that. So let me clean that up. One of the things that I really don't like to do when it comes to like exaggerated brows is carve them. I don't like to carve them. So I'm going to try to find a purple in my Glam Light ice cream palette that looks similar to this. And I'm going to start piling on the shimmer. I have to probably wipe every time I dip my my brush because I don't want to mess up my eyeshadow. And I know if you put wetness in an eyeshadow palette that isn't alcohol, you will mess up your eyeshadow. And I don't want to do that. I don't want hard pan. I mean, I can't use my eyeshadow anymore. That would be sad. So I've really been digging. I, I mean, sometimes I forget how good the Glam Light shimmers are. I just really enjoy them. And I've tried so many different kinds of shimmer. And I just, every time I, you know, because I rotate my palette, every time I use Glam Light, and their shimmers, I'm always like, damn, I forget how good they are. And I did something that I haven't done in a really long time. I, I thought maybe like I was done with eyeshadow palettes and it turns out I am not done. Um, all those eyeshadow palettes that I, well not all of them, obviously, because I'd be dead broke. But all of the eyeshadows that I had been thinking about for a while now, even if they're not new anymore, I still think about them, you know? <laughs> oh, wow. My friends are out there. I may have to end up carving these just because I want my eyebrows to look mm, more defined, I think is the word. So yeah, I think I'll end up cutting them. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty concealer to cut them. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Yeah, so this is why I don't like cutting my eyebrows. Because it gets super messy really quick. Um, right, so what I was talking about was I thought I was done with eyeshadow palettes. And it turns out I'm not really done with eyeshadow palettes. I'm just not interested in a lot of the new stuff that's coming out. And all the palettes that I've been wanting in the past, the, the ones that I try to talk myself out of, I still want them. And here's an example. The Glam Light Dirty Martini palette. I still very much wanted that one. And it's been out for a good while. And let me tell you something. When something comes out and... Like a, like a makeup product. If something comes out and you're like, man, I really want that. And you're watching your favorite YouTuber or your favorite content creator who is like beauty based. And they're hyping it up because it's new and it's, you know, it's brand spanking new and exciting and, you know, it's shiny, whatever. I highly recommend that you wait. 
because one, you may end up not really wanting it and you're just like caught up in the hype um, and the excitement, you know, like you're like, oh, cool, you know, she's excited. I'm excited for her and I kind of want it now. Just give it a minute. And the other reason why it's good to wait is because sales, sales, and that became so prevalent to me because the Gemini 2 came out not that long ago. I want to say maybe like a month ago. And it already went on sale. Okay. It already went on sale. And you may remember that I did come out with a video talking myself out of it. And the other palette that I had talked myself out of was the Amor y Mariposas palette. I talked myself out of that. And, um, and I was like, you know what? I really still do want these palettes. And you know what? I bought them. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I bought them. Do I regret it? Not a single bit. Because I sat on them long enough. I knew about them long enough. And I still had the desire to purchase them. Even after like everyone else has probably moved on. I'm still like, yes, I still want this. Um, and I feel the same way about the Glam Light uh, Dirty Martini palette and the same way about the, ooh, the Glam Light um, Chocolate Martini palette. I still feel the same way about them. Oh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> I, I still liked, I still wanted those palettes and I went ahead and bought them. Okay. I went ahead and bought them. Um, I don't regret it. Um, definitely don't regret the uh, Glam Light purchase because I think today I used the uh, was it the, the cake palette? I was going to say the birthday cake palette. I used the cake palette and again so impressed and I can't wait to see and to use the other palettes that I just got. I'm just really hyped, you know? Have y'all seen the new Glam Light uh, Frosted Flakes palette from Glam Light? It looks really cute, but a, a palette with just two colors just doesn't seem to call to me. You know, it's just like, it's like as if you mashed two ColourPop palettes together uh, to those ColourPop monochromatic palettes together and then just called it a day. I, I just, that's just not for me. I think what I want to do, and this could very well be a mistake, is I want to mix the silver and the green. Because you know what? What ups? We're just playing in makeup today and we're going to see what kind of hot mess is going to happen. I was watching the video from Trixie Mattel on her YouTube channel and she did, she had Hungry over on her YouTube channel and Hungry is a, is Bjork's makeup artist and she is just so freaking cool man, like she's literally drawing like shapes and stuff on her face, like she's doing art on her face. Well, I, I'm not sure what her pronoun is, but we're just going to go with they. They just draw on their face and it is art. She even had like a fake nose going into it. She was like, yeah, you know, this is my fake nose. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing, dude. Loved it. Thought that was really inspiring. It made me want to draw on my face. I guess that's why we're here now. want to like place them together like so being very careful not to mix them wowzers see like I feel like this is already turning out to be something that I probably would have normally done I think what I'm gonna do so that they end up being um married well is put a topper that I have on the in the ice cream palette so 
So if you're wondering about the silver that I put on initially, that was from a BH Cosmetics um, palette. And I'm mixing a pink and a purple in my lid. So the reason why I was thinking about Hungry is because they were mentioning that Ugh, that they like to try new things on stream and sometimes he, uh, they don't come out right or they feel like it might not come out right but they just power through because why not you know their feeling on it is why not experience the journey together and I was like wow that's so true and that's what I'm gonna do. And we're just gonna go on this journey, friend. <laughs> Cause why not? Now what I have here is a red from a Natasha Denona. And so now I am just making a mess on my face. Yay! I'm kind of mixing the, the pinks and the reds to sort of make my own amalgamation, if you will. Yeah, this isn't <laughs> coming out like so wild like I was anticipating, but we're just going to go with it, you know? Purple brows, don't care. Who cares? <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> I kind of like this. So I'm going to, you see how it's like deep right here? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade it out into like a nice pink because I, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I want to marry this with a blush color on the sides. That would be really cool. I'm just going to trust the process. <laughs> just going to trust the process right now. I'm just adding like a really bright, like a pastel baby pink on the side. To lighten it up that way my blush seamlessly blends so I think we're gonna call it done there now we're gonna dip back into this and we're going to set this liner You know, right, you know what song I have stuck in my head right now? I have Stillborn from Zach Wild. Random. Fun fact. Okay. I don't know why I'm starting on my cheeks when I literally am not done with my eyes yet. <laughs> So I don't have plans tonight. I'm just playing with makeup. Not to say that I wouldn't go out like this. I just want to play makeup. Now let me get back to my my eyes. Can be such a dingbat sometimes. Liner fixes everything, right? Now I want to do something. What is it? What's the word? Mm, elaborate. I mean, this look is elaborate. Wowzers. So my eyeliner approach is very risky. I'm not well versed in liner I literally just do the outside of it first and then once it's like on see like they're not even the same once it's on then I start fixing things I know that's risky but we're gonna make it work damn it hey <laughs> what we're gonna do just for funsies a little peace sign right there Whoa. that didn't work out I think what I'll do is I'm going to draw it on. Wow. 
Wowzers. Not bad. That is a look. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is put on more concealer. I'm gonna use this as a foundation because I don't have an actual foundation that would be full coverage for what I'm what I'm going for. I only have a like a, what do you call those? Like the sheer coverage tinted foundation sort of situations. I have the Urban Decay Hy Hydromaniac and that's not exactly full coverage but I want full coverage for this this here that I'm doing. And this concealer is definitely going to give me the full coverage that I want. Hmm. Maybe I should have did pink eyebrows or like an ombre eyebrow that's like pink and purple. That would have been cool. But I think what I'm going to do to tie the whole look together is do like a pink lipstick with a purple topper because I happen to have that. Mascara. I'm in a better mood today than I have been this week. Some of you may already know what's going on. If you watch my YouTube channel, then you know. If you don't, then you don't. I have like honest to God butter fingers. I really do. I'm always dropping things in the morning whenever I'm doing my makeup. I'm always dropping things and I'm pretty sure my husband can hear it. He has to be into work later than I do and my vanity is in the bedroom. So he's hearing everything. Now we're gonna do some blush. Now I have two different kinds of blushes right now because I wanna do this thing that I saw on Trixie's um, YouTube channel. I noticed that what she does is she sort of contours with her blush and I wanna try doing that because it's a brilliant idea. Whoa. A little heavy there. I guess that's a point, right? It's a little heavy. Okay. Pulling this all the way up here. And then with a lighter blush, fill in the pockets here. And hopefully it has the desired effects that I want. We are experimenting here, guys. Ooh. I know they say not to do this, but... And when I say they, I mean all the powers that be. But we're doing it. gonna use a highlighter that's not pink because I feel like it might be a little redundant it won't really show that it's a different highlighter I kind of want to differentiate my blush with my highlighter I'm gonna put that real close to my under eye right here so like highlights these points in my face. Hmm. I like this. It's like I'm wearing highlighter glasses or something. Ooh. I dig it. Oh, I never overdrawn my lips before. Whoa. I 
I just got this sucker too. Like, you see what I mean? Like, this has been around forever and I only just got it because I was sitting on it. And then I nabbed it during a sale. Love it. Do I look like a clown? Maybe. Am I happy about it? Yeah. So I have these guys. These are discontinued, unfortunately. They're the Everlasting Glimmer Veil from KVD Vegan Beauty. And this shade is in Televator. Oh, maybe that was a mistake. Ooh, I know. I should have lined with purple. I have a different purple. I'm gonna switch over to the same thing. It's called Starflyer. It's the everlasting uh, glitter. It's as I predicted. I just ended up doing a very normal look. Not that adventurous, but I'm happy with it. So, I mean, does that work? I love it. Anyways, so hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. If you want me to go a little more crazy on these, oh, get ready, get ready's with me, let me know and I'll try my best to find some inspiration from the Pinterest gods and make something that doesn't look so generic. I feel like this still looks generic, but just super colorful. That's it. Anyways, fail. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye.